Uh, this is Leo uh, from Lead Time. Uh, today I want to show you uh, how to make uh, uh, ginger hydrosol uh, by using uh, steam distillation. Um, so ginger uh, has been used for thousand years in China because it's a special and a unique aroma. <clears throat> so it's been used in the cooking or even like a um, regular home use. Um, so like probably you know the ginger tea. Um, so because it's a special component in the ginger, um, ginger hydrosol is uh, very good to uh, uh, soothe your flu or cold syndrome. And uh, if you have a stomach ache, uh, it will be uh, helpful uh, to relieve the uh, stomach ache. And also uh, ginger hydrosol is a good uh, relief uh, motion sickness. Um, I would say ginger hydrosol is one of the best hydrosol to use, uh, especially in the winter and also when you are travel. So steam distillation, uh, uh, as its name tells, is uh, so the steam pass through the the plants and then so it will carry the essentials uh, in the plants and then uh, condense into a liquid, so make into a, a hydrolate. Um, and in the hydrolate, uh, distillate, um, it include essential oil and also the hydrosol. Uh, essential oil is uh, oil phase uh, components um, and the hydrosol is mostly is a, a soluble uh, aqueous phase and uh, with some uh, uh, amount of a uh, you know, little amount of uh, essential oil um, so the system is uh, is a uh, straightforward uh, this is the steam sauce um, so you add a water in it and then the steam come come up and it will pass uh, this is called a steamer this is where the plants will sit in there and then the steam will carry uh, all of the essentials uh, inside the, the plants and then extract them off and once they go through this uh, a condenser and then after cool down it will become into a liquid phase so that is called a distillate um, so yes i'm going to start it um, so there basically there are uh, three steps first add water in this kettle uh, second prepare the plants uh, for the, today i'm going to use the ginger uh, I bought this from my uh, local uh, grocery store. Uh, it's uh, it's not expensive. It's it's two dollar or two fifty dollar, uh, two uh, two dollar fifty cents uh, per pound. Uh, for the five hundred milliliter uh, steamer, I would probably just use a, a half pound, like a, like a dollar of the uh, ginger. Um, so, and also I choose this. Uh, uh, organic ginger, um, just wash it and then uh, cut it into uh, small pieces. Uh, smaller is better for the uh, essential come up. Um, so, and then put it back in the steamer. Um, so this condenser, um, you know, just add an ice cube uh, or cold water in it. So you, then the steam will condense into a liquid. So let's go. So the first step is add water in the kettle. So now you gotta wash the ginger. Want to know what's the uh, best ginger? Uh, first, uh, you want to see like a shiny skin. Uh, shiny means that it's younger. And also, you want to find, you know, when you uh, open it, see very uh, uh, fresh yellow. That means it's good. So. Now I'm going to uh, cut it, cut it into uh, small pieces. Okay, so the ginger is ready. I'm gonna put it into a steamer.
So I'm fitting the plants into the steamer just uh, to the uh, bottom line here. Close it. First, I add water in the uh, kettle and then put a ginger, uh, the, I cut into the uh, small pieces and I put in the steamer. Now I can turn on the heat. See the steam is passing uh, the tubing and go through here. And it come up from here. So you see the steam come up. Um, now I'm gonna add in the ice cube, ice cube into the container. It can smell very strong the ginger aroma. Um, so once you add in the ice cube, uh, uh, then the steam uh, change into the liquid. Let's just uh, take a look at the distillate. It's uh, very clear. And it's, if you see from the side, and you can see it's, it's, uh, it's transparent, it's, it's clear. It's different with the Eora. If you like a ginger tea, um, you know the color will be like a yellowish uh, color. But that's the big difference between the hydrosol and, uh, and the tea. Um, the hydrosol is, uh, has a steam. It passes through the plants um, because the steam has a much smaller uh, molecule size um, than water is. Um, so the steam can carry and also it has a um, higher energy because it's a, it has more heat uh, in the steam than the water. Um, so it carry more essentials out of the uh, plants and then it so the I think uh, uh, as you can see you know it's it, it, it's very clear um, the benefit of uh, if you use a, a clear liquid uh, then a color liquid if you like cooking or if you like uh, add some flavor into a like your soup, but you don't want the color, um, then you can use the hydrosol. <clears throat> and also, uh, the other benefit uh, when you do like a homemade hydrosol, um, because you only use uh, plants and the steam, you know there's uh, no com no other additives, so it's uh, it's the best, it's 100% pure, and it's uh, fresh. So right now, uh, it's about uh, three minutes. Uh, you can see we got uh, one third of this cup. Uh, it is around uh, 150 milliliter, uh, about four ounce. Um, about 10 minutes, uh, I wanna show you uh, how much I got. Um, so you can see almost like a full cup. Uh, it's about 250 milliliter. Uh, um, but I, I'm gonna measure this in the in my beaker. Yeah, so I can put this back there. Uh, you can see about 250, 200, 250. Uh, so that's uh, about eight ounce. Um, with uh, we did a, a, a experiments with a 500 milliliter. Um, it, you can do like a 25 minutes uh, steam distillation because the amount of the plants you have uh, in the steamer. Uh, so today I show you how to use a fresh ginger to make a ginger hydrosol uh, by using our uh, lead time distiller. 
and this is a 500 milliliter size uh, steamer. Um, so the interesting thing is uh, we got a, a clear uh, transparent uh, hydrosol. It's uh, different with uh, ginger tea. You see the ginger tea, uh, you will see like kind of a yellowish um, because the steam, you know, it's, it's, uh, it has a higher power than uh, hot water. You carry uh, the essential out of the uh, uh, ginger rather than the color uh, out of the ginger. Um, so that make it uh, a, a clear, uh, make it clear, um, but uh, it has a, a actually, um, it has a very strong uh, ginger smell, and also I taste it as well. You know, it's it's, uh, it's uh, uh, not that spicy, uh, but you definitely have the unique uh, uh, ginger taste. Um, so ginger hydrosol is uh, very good to uh, uh, soothe your flu or cold syndrome, uh, and also help uh, help relieve your uh, stomach ache. Uh, when you travel, you can use a ginger hydrosol uh, put on your face or under your nose uh, to reduce the motion sickness. Um, so um, this is the best uh, hydrosol uh, in the season, in the winter, uh, and also you want to carry it you know, during your travel. Um, okay, so if you like uh, uh, my video, uh, click uh, like and also click uh, subscribe um, because we got a periodically we, we go have a new video showing how to make a hydrosol essential oil uh, and also some other uh, like new application to use a uh, hydrosol to make uh, uh, new stuff uh, for yourself and uh, for your family and for your home uh, thank you yeah uh, see you next time